Hey there, is today your first time here? Or maybe your first time in a while? If so, maybe you're wondering exactly who we are and what this church is all about. Well, we'd like you to know that we're a group of ordinary people who are on an amazing journey together, following Christ. Our guide is the Bible because it's the divinely inspired Word of God and it will never take us in the wrong direction. Along the way, we hope you'll see that we are welcoming and spiritually passionate and that getting to know you is a big deal to us. We know that the road is rough sometimes, but we'll work really hard to bring you practical and relevant messages to equip and encourage you through life's ups and downs. We want you to know that we care about this community and we believe that it's our job to make it a better place. So no matter who you are or where you've been, we're glad you're here with us today. And we hope that you'll join us on our journey, following Christ and living out His plan for us. So welcome to church. is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and glad in today. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's good to be on your way again. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor Michael Murabokai of El Shaddai World Harvest Church 4617, White Plains Road, Bronx, New York. Amen. Welcome to our healing service. Praise God. This is Sunday morning. We do our healing service. We teach, excuse me, we teach on healing. We pray for the sick. Glory be to God. We serve Holy Communion. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. In one of those ways, through the word, through the communion, through the praying, your faith will arise and healing will be yours. Well, let's get into praying the efficient prayer this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. And before then, we are going to, just to, as a form of reminder, we are going to continue where we stopped last week. Our attitude and our response to the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It is our response, our attitude to the word of God, amen, that determines, amen, our result. Praise God. Well, let us pray. Glory be to God. Let's put the efficient prayer on the screen. Oh, it's going to be awesome today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness. Just pray the same prayer as you follow the screen. Amen. Pray it. Amen. Make it your own. That means personalize it. Use the personal pronoun, I. And if you're with your family, you can say we. Amen. Glory be to God. Hell, hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness, your tender mercies, which belongs to us. We thank you because it is in you we live, move, and we have our being. We pray tonight, this morning, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, pray, amen, the Father of glory will give to me, amen, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, glory be to God, amen, that the eyes of my understanding being enlightened, that I may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance and in the saints, praise God, amen, and what is the exceeding great, what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward me who believes, it's according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him up from the dead. Amen. Hallelujah. And set him at his own right hand in heavenly places, far above all principalities and powers and might and dominion. And every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Glory be to God. Amen. And had put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filled all in all. Glory be to God. Heavenly Father, for this cause, come on, let's go. Amen. For this cause, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Amen. Hallelujah. That he will grant unto me, according to his riches in glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in my inner man. Praise God. Hallelujah. That Christ may dwell in my heart by faith, and that I, be rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height. Hallelujah. Amen. And to know the love of Christ that passeth knowledge, that I might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that I ask or think, glory be to God, according to the power that works in me. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages 
world without end. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. I want to especially thank you for the anointing, for anointing my lips as the pen of a ready writer. That revelation knowledge will flow out of my innermost being this morning. Amen. To bring healing to bring deliverance, to bring salvation, amen, for to all the audiences around the world. I pray especially for those in Australia today, Father Lord, for the mighty move of the Holy Spirit in every individual that is watching, hallelujah, or those that are watching, glory be to God, from the Caribbean, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name, hallelujah, that all over the world, the Spirit of God is moving. We thank you, and we do declare that greater is he that is in us than the devil that is in the world. Amen. Hallelujah. And that is under our feet in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Well, if you are just joining us, praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Just begin to share. Just begin to share this big live broadcast. And if you have friends that are sick, continue to share this live broadcast to them. Amen. In their age. Amen. And continue to like and continue to subscribe. Amen. Praise God. We are streaming right now directly to Amen. Not just to Facebook, but to YouTube. Praise God. Hallelujah. To YouTube, to Twitch. Amen. And to and to and to Twitter. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Some way, some way, somehow, somebody is going to get it today. Amen. So we're going to continue. Amen. Where we stopped last week, talking about we are discussing our attitude. Amen. Determines our response. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says Abraham believed God. Amen. And it was added unto him. Amen. It was reckoned or it was imputed, credited into righteousness, was credited into his account. What was his attitude toward the word of God? He believed. Amen. Hallelujah. He believed. Every miracle, listen to this, every miracle, every healing, every blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Every answer to prayer. Amen. Every deliverance is based on your attitude to the, uh, uh, to the word of God. Your attitude and your response. Amen. Praise God. Jesus said, whosoever hears these sayings of mine and does them. See? Amen. Whosoever hears these sayings of mine and doeth them. James says, amen, be not deceived. Amen. It is not the hearer that is justified. He says, amen, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Amen. And then he goes on to say, deceiving yourselves. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Every of God's blessing is based on the attitude, our attitude towards the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I repeat, every of God's blessings, every healing, every miracle, every manifestation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Of God is based on our attitude and our response to the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So in this session of talking, discussing healing, and I am the Lord that healed thee, amen, we're, going, we're using this opportunity, amen, to train your, your, your attitude. Praise God. Hallelujah. Your attitude, amen, because by the, listen to this, amen, if you, you have a negative attitude towards the word of God, you will not be, you, you will not get the result. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. That's why some people, Amen. When it comes to confession, all they do is, is just mental. It's not heart. Amen. It's all in the head. Amen. The Bible says, what well, with the heart, man believes. So when the Bible says Abraham believed God, amen, it was a matter of heart attitude. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we have been using Psalm 119. David is showing us the very, amen, his attitude. Praise God. God, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And we discover that attitude, the dictionary says, it is a settled way of thinking or feeling about something. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. It is a settled way of thinking. Praise God. A settled way of thinking or feeling about something. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And another, another definition for it is in Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. A position assumed for a specific purpose. Amen. A settled way of thinking or feeling about something. A position you assume for a specific purpose. That's what attitude is. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Glory be to God. So let's get into the scriptures and then let's begin to discover from 1 Psalm 119, David's every attitude towards the word of God. Amen. Praise God. Listen to this. Praise. This is good. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Listen to this. Praise God. Let us take, let us listen to this. Let's go to a, a Proverbs chapter. Let's start with Proverbs chapter 4 today. Proverbs and chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4. And verse 20. My son, attend to my words. Amen. Hallelujah. Solomon is saying in the book of Proverbs, my son, attend to my word. Or the Lord is saying through Solomon, Amen. My son, attend to my word. Incline your ear to my sayings. Attitude. We, dis we discover that the word attitude means a position assumed for a specific purpose. Attend to my word. Incline your ear to my sayings. Amen. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. And then it goes on to tell us the result. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 22. For they are life to those that find them. Amen. Attitude. A position assumed for a specific purpose. Attitude. Amen. A settled way of thinking. A settled way of thinking. Amen. Or feeling about something. Praise God. Hallelujah. A settled way of thinking about your healing. Praise God. A settled way of thinking, amen, praise God, in, or feelings about your healing. Amen. Hallelujah. A position you are assuming as far as your healing is concerned. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Um, Proverbs is saying, my son, attend to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Glory be to God. Amen. Incline your ear to my sayings. <clears throat> Let them not depart from thine eyes. Amen. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. Amen. For they are life. Hallelujah. For they are life. Amen. Keep them in thy heart. Amen. For they are life to those that find them. Amen. And health and healing to all their flesh. One translation says, Amen. Glory be to God. It is medicine. Praise God. Amen. It is help, amen. It is medicine to those that find them. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The New Living Translation says, For they bring life. For they bring life and radiant health to anyone who discovers them. Amen. So it, it is your responsibility to discover what is in the word of God as far as healing is concerned. Amen. And when you discover them, the Bible says, Amen, they bring life and radiant health. Amen. The message Bible, the message Bible puts it this way. Amen. Those who discover these words live really good or live real lives. Amen. Those who discover these words live, really live body and soul. They are bursting. Praise God. Hallelujah. They are bursting with health. And then the message goes on to say, as in verse 30, verse 23, keep vigilant watch over your heart. For that's where life starts. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our attitude. Amen. David said, thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Amen. Glory be to God. So it's, it, you know, every miracle, like I said, every blessing is a response. Our attitude and our response to the word of God. Amen. Praise God. If we will be properly taught Amen. How, what our point, amen, glory be to God, our positioning, amen, as far as any blessing we receive is concerned with reference to the word of God, praise God, hallelujah, amen, it will always determine the result that we have. Amen, praise God, hallelujah, amen, praise God, amen. I'm tempted to just, but listen to this, praise God, amen. Well, this is very early in our teaching today, but let's let, let me just deviate a little bit. Let's go to the book of Rome. We'll come back. Let's go to Romans chapter 12. 
I, would, it, I did not intend to go this, but let you know, I just feel led to do this. Listen to this, amen. Romans chapter 12, amen, verse 2 says, amen, in line with this definition, amen, attitude, a settled way of thinking, a settled way of thinking or feeling about something. Amen. Paul admonishes the Roman the, the, the Roman church. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. Amen. Hallelujah. Transform means change. Amen. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Praise God. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Be changed. Amen. Hallelujah. Our attitude, and, and I'm, going, I'm stuck on this definition, is settled way of thinking. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Concerning anything. Amen. Paul is advising, or the Holy Ghost is advising the Roman Christians. Amen. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing, by the renewing of your minds. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Attitude. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Listen to the Amplified. Do not be conformed to this world's a this world, this age. Amen. Fashioned and adapted to their external and super, superficial customs. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That the world has a very, a very amen. Glory be to God. Amen. The world has a way of thinking. And the church, the body of Christ, the believers have a, amen, a different way of thinking. Amen. And the Holy Ghost is telling the body of Christ, amen, don't think like the world thinks. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When the world sees uh, sickness or disease, the next thing is they get, get ready, they are getting ready to die. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. But when a, a child of God, amen, is encountering disease, he knows there's a healer in the house. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The child of God should know, glory be to God, that he has inform inside information. But when, when I'm talking about inside information, I'm talking inside information as far as the word of God is concerned. Amen. Hallelujah. That in Exodus, amen. Hallelujah. Uh, 15, 26. Amen. I am the Lord that he led thee. God said to the children of Israel, if thou, amen, glory be to God, if thou hearken diligently unto my word, and will do that which I have commanded thee, amen, which I command thee this day, I will not allow any of these diseases, amen, which have allowed upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that he led thee. And the Lord started building glory be to God as the nation progressed, amen, and he began to show them glory be to God, amen, his will and purpose, amen, hallelujah. To keep them well. Amen. And so in, in, we, we come to, um, praise God, hallelujah, the book of Psalms. And the, the book of Psalms, Psalm 105, verse 20 says, and he sent his word. He sent his word. Glory be to God. <clears throat> he sent his word and he healed them and delivered them from all their destructions. Amen. Hallelujah. But what is our attitude to what God said? Amen. In Exodus, Amen. God was pointing the children of Israel in the right direction to stay well. But obey what I say. Amen. Praise God. Obey what I say. And down, I think, chapter 23 of the same Exodus, amen, we see the God speaking to the children. You shall serve the Lord thy God, and he will bless thy water and thy bread. Amen. Hallelujah. A glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And will not allow Amen. Glory be to God. Any of these diseases, amen, which have come upon the Egyptians. And he goes on to say, there will be no miscarriages. Amen. Amen. The number of your days I will fulfill. I will fulfill. Glory be to God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So what is our attitude towards this? Amen. God was leading the children of Israel in the right act, in, the, in telling them to have the right mindset, the right positioning to assume the right position amen for a specific purpose of being blessed of being blessed of being healed of longevity 
Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And he was showing them, amen, to have a settled way of thinking or feeling about what he was telling them. Praise God. Listen to the Amplified in Romans chapter 12 and verse 1, verse 2. Do not be conformed to this world. Amen. This age, fashioned after and adapted to its external, external superficial thinking. Amen. The customs. What is the Holy Ghost telling us? Stop thinking like the world think. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. But be transformed by the entire renewal of your mind, by its new ideals and its new attitude, so that you may prove for yourself. Amen. Praise God. And what I'm reading here, it can happen to anybody who just believed the word. Amen. So that you can prove for yourself what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Even the things which is good and accepted and perfect in his sight for you. In his sight for you. What is God seeing for, as far as you are concerned? Amen. What is he seeing about you? He is seeing somebody, amen, hallelujah, who is living, who is going to live, praise God, amen, in a good old age, amen, full of life, full of vitality, full of strength, full of wealth, full of health. Amen, praise God. Listen to the New Living Translation. I read, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world. Amen, praise God, hallelujah. But be God, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way, by changing the way you think. Let me use that word, uh, put that word attitude, amen. But let God transform you, amen, transform you into a new person by changing your attitude, amen. Then you will know what God wants you to do, and you will know how good and pleasing and perfect his will, his will, his will really is for you. What is the will of God? Amen, hallelujah. What is the will of God concerning your health? Is that you stay well. Amen. Not just healing, but stay well. Living that divine life. Amen. Hallelujah. Where sickness and disease lost its power. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Living that in that divine state of being where everything, amen, hallelujah, where sickness and disease Amen. Lost his power to affect you. Amen. Hallelujah. And you come to the point and you un come to know by experience. Amen. Hallelujah. And through the word of God, you, you have now have a different attitude and you can boldly declare, I have a DNA that is impervious to sickness and disease. And every disease, every germ, every infirmity, glory be to God that touches this body dies instantly. Amen. Hallelujah. That your body became, <laughs> that my body becomes the graveyard for sickness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But it has to do with your thinking, your attitude. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The word of God will not work for you just because you read, you read, you read it. No. Amen. It will only work for you when you walk it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Now, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. To where, <laughs> oh hallelujah! Let's look. Let's go to Matthew. Let's go to Matthew chapter. Before we go to, into the book of Psalms, let's look at Matthew chapter eight. Listen to this: the book of Matthew chapter eight. And I'll just amen. <laughs> Praise God! I'm just going to read a very little, and then we'll move on. Listen to this: and when he you, when he came down from the mountain, great multitude followed him. Amen. And behold, there came a leper worshiping and worshiped him, saying, Lord, if it be thy will, amen. If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Amen. Amen. Listen, God, Jesus, if you will, you can make me clean. If you don't, it's okay. And that's many of God's attitude towards healing. Many of God's people, that's their attitude. Well, you know, if God wills, he will heal you. If God does not will, no, 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 no. Instantly, Jesus corrected him. Amen. Hallelujah. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him. Amen. Praise God. Saying, I will be thou clean. Jesus changed that man's attitude. 
instantly. Amen. As if Jesus was saying to him, son, I'm going to heal you, but you have the wrong attitude, so I'll correct your attitude first. It is my will for you to be healed. Amen. I will be down clean, and immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Immediately. Amen. When you have the right attitude, amen, the right thinking, amen, hallelujah, the, you have the right thinking, you will have the right believing. And when you have the right believing, you will have the right action. Praise God, hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 119. This is what David said. I will keep, amen, listen to this, amen. This is where we stopped last week. I will keep thy statutes. He said to God, thy word have I hid in my heart, amen, that I may not sin, the glory be to God, that I may not sin against thee. And we saw this in Romans chapter 10, amen, hallelujah. Romans chapter 10 and verse 8. Praise God, hallelujah. But what said it? Thy word, thy word is, amen, the, the word is nigh thee. The word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart. Two places the word of God is supposed to be, your mouth and your heart. Amen. One place that your, the word of God is not supposed to be is your head. Amen. If it is in your head, transfer it to your heart. Amen. By believing it. Amen. Listen to what the, the Holy Ghost is saying. The word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart. And uh, that is the word of faith which we preach. Amen. The word of God is supposed to be in your mouth and in your heart. Why? Listen to this. I read verse 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, amen, the Lord Jesus Christ, listen to the second place, and believe with your heart that God raised him up from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 10. For with the man, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Your heart, with your heart, you believe unto right standing, places you in the right position. Amen. Hallelujah. To receive your healing. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. Places you in the right position to receive your healing. Amen. Hallelujah. Or your miracle. Amen. Or your blessing. And there with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Amen. David said, I read. Amen. Hallelujah. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Amen. I have listened to another thing David said. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimony. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimony. Oh, glory be to God. I have, listen, this is David's attitude. Towards the word of God, I have rejoiced in the way of your word. Why is it David rejoicing at the amen in the way of God's word? Because he had the result. Amen. Hallelujah. The right attitude produced the right result. The right thinking, the right positioning, amen. Hallelujah. Produced the right results. Amen. Listen to this. Amen. Reposition yourself. What do I mean? Reposition your thinking. Amen. And you will receive the right result. Listen to David. Listen to this. Amen. I'm going to Psalm. Listen to Psalm 19. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm, the book of Psalm 19. Praise God. Praise God. This is good. Psalm 19 and verse 7. Amen. Hallelujah. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies. Listen to what David said. The law of the Lord is perfect. Oh, glory be to God. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. This is so good. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Amen. Hallelujah. The testimonies of the Lord is sure, making wise and simple. <laughs> Praise God. I continue to read. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is sure, enlightening the eyes. Amen. Verse 9. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. 
The judgments or the word of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Verse 10, amen. More to be desired are dead than gold. David's attitude, <laughs> glory be to God. Yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than the honey and the honeycomb. Verse 11, moreover, by them, here comes David now. Here comes David's attitude. Here comes David's attitude. Moreover, by them, that is thy word, is thy servant one. And in keeping to them, there is great reward. Amen. Hallelujah. Attitude, response. Amen. Hallelujah. My way, amen. The way I position and assume, amen. The position I assume as, as far as the word of God is concerned, concerning my healing, specific purpose. Determines my, res my response. Here's the word, amen, again, amen. Two definitions we are standing with. Amen, hallelujah. A settled way of thinking or feeling about something. Amen. Amen, praise God. Listen to the other part. Amen. Typically as, typically on that, that is reflected or that is reflected in a person's behavior. In a person's behavior, listen to this. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to read these whole verses again in the let's do the, um, the new living translation. Amen. The amplified. Amen. I'll take my time in teaching it, in, in reading them, first so that you can get it. Amen. I'm not just here just to just preach. No, no, no. I want you to this word of God to affect you. Amen. Amen. To change the way you think and receive so that you can receive your miracle. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Listen to this. David said, the law of the Lord, that is his word, is perfect. Restoring, restoring whole person, the word of God. Amen. Restoring whole. Amen. The person. Amen. The word of the Lord is perfect. Restoring the whole person. Spirit soul and body salvation for the soul as for the for salvation for your spirit amen hallelujah amen glory to god renewing of your mind amen hallelujah for the soul amen the engrafting of the word of god according to james for your soul amen hallelujah for the saving of your soul amen hallelujah and the result the healing for your for the healing amen and the expected result for your body or for whatever circumstances, amen, human circumstances you are in or facing. Praise God, hallelujah. The law of the Lord is perfect. The word of God is perfect. Amen. Restoring the whole person. The testimony of the Lord is the sure, making wise the simple. <laughs> Glory be to God. The testimony of the Lord, it is sure. Amen, hallelujah. So for those who are simple-minded there, praise God. Amen. The testimony of the Lord, it is sure. It must surely, this is what God said in Isaiah. My word shall not return unto me void. Amen. It must accomplish that for which purpose, for the purpose for which he said. So if you receive the word of God, knowing, amen, Isaiah 53, amen, that by his stripes you have been healed, and you receive that and you make it your own, and you walk in, and you, that is the testimony. That word will not return to you void. Amen. Hallelujah. The word of God. I have this teaching. The word of God must produce. Amen. Hallelujah. The word of God must produce. Listen to this. Amen. Hallelujah. I continue to read. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> the, 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 the precept. Listen to this. Amen. Hallelujah. The Amplified. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment or the word of the Lord is pure and bright, amen, enlightening the eyes, amen, the eyes of your understanding, like we prayed in the official prayer, being enlightened that you may know, amen, hallelujah, amen. And like I told us in our previous broadcast, what is the weapon the devil is using against those who don't believe? Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, that the God of this present evil world has blinded the minds of those who do not believe 
Amen. Let the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ shine in their hearts. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Because the devil knows once the light of the word shine into your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. You will receive, amen, the exact result of what God said. Salvation, healing, deliverance, blessings, miracle, prosperity, longevity, peace in the home, whatever. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, amen. So, what is he using? Blindness. Amen. David is saying the precepts, amen. Hallelujah. Of the Lord, amen. Are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandments of the Lord is pure, of the, of the Lord is pure and bright, and light, enlightening, enlightening the heart, the eyes. The reverent fear of the Lord is clean. Enduring forever. Amen. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Amen. Hallelujah. It goes on to say, moreover, more to be desired, more to be desired are day than gold. David's attitude. Amen. Even much than fine gold, they are sweeter also than honey. Amen. Dripping from the honeycombs. Amen. Hallelujah. Moreover, I read, Amen. Hallelujah. Moreover, by them, the word of God, by them is your servant warned, amen, reminded, here is the word, illuminated and instructed, and in keeping to them, there is great reward. David's attitude. David is not, amen, hallelujah. David is not just telling us, amen, his attitude towards the word, but he's also telling us, Amen. The manifestation, the results of our attitude, the response to our, of our attitude toward the word of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Praise God. Listen to this. Let's keep to it. Let's stick with it. Let's stick with it. Let's stick with it. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees, the law, the word, the decrees of the Lord are trustworthy. Amen. Making wise the simple. The decrees, what God says. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. They are trustworthy. Amen. In fact, one scripture says, I honor my word above my name. Amen. That's how much integrity the word of God has. Amen. Hallelujah. And our attitude towards the integrity of the word of God, amen, determines our response. Healing belongs. In fact, Jesus made a, a, a statement that healing is the children's bread. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's listen to this. Amen. Praise God. Reverence for the Lord is pure. Lasting forever, the law of the Lord are true. Each one is fair. The word of the Lord, the word, the laws, the word of the Lord are true. Each one is fair. Glory be to God. They are more desirable than gold, even fine, fine gold. They are sweeter than honey, even honey dripping from the from the comb. Amen. Hallelujah. And lastly, they are a warning to those who hear them. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> the word of God is a warning to those who hear them. There is great reward to those who obey them. Attitude. Amen. There is great reward. Amen. The word of God is, is a warning. The, uh, the New Living Translation says, they are a warning to those who hear them. Amen. James says, <laughs> glory be to God. Amen. Be ye Doers of the word are not hear us only, deceiving yourself. That's a warning. Amen. Hallelujah. They are a warning to those who hear them. There is great reward for those who obey them. Amen. They are life. David said, or uh, Proverbs said, they are life to those who find them. Amen. And healing. Amen. And healing. And robust health. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. To all, to them that keep it. 
Amen. David goes on to say, let's keep on going. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Listen, as much as in all riches, amen, I will meditate in thy precept. <laughs> Here, this is, the, listen to this, this is so good. Amen. And I'm I'm really glad that God, amen, is the Holy Ghost is putting it in my heart to bring this message to us. Amen. To the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to what David said. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is still Psalm 119. Listen to this. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I will meditate in thy precepts. I will meditate in thy precepts. Amen. Keeping the word in the heart. Amen. Hallelujah. I will meditate. I will, I will meditate. I will meditate in thy precepts. Amen. Listen to this. Let's go to Joshua 1:8. I will meditate. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. The book of Joshua chapter 1. Jo Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. Listen to this. This book of the law, the word, this book of the Lord shall not depart. Amen. Shall not depart out of thy mouth. Remember what Romans chapter 10 tells us. Amen. The word of faith which we preach is nigh thee. Even in thy mouth and in thy heart. In the Old Testament, just God is telling Joshua, this book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Like I said, that's where we are going in our teaching of, on, on healing. The word not departing. In, amen. The principle of knowing how to keep the word in our mouth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to talk a, a little bit on, amen, you are snared by the word of your mouth. The word you say with your mouth, amen, hallelujah, amen, determines, amen, your level of blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Every man's life, I'm just going there, every man's life is determined by what comes out of their mouth. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Think, amen, hallelujah, day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way, then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Listen to the Amplified. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth, but you will meditate on it day and night that you may observe, amen, that you may observe, that you may observe and do according to all that is written in it. Amen. So reading, just reading the word of God is not enough. Amen. Hallelujah. He says you will meditate on it why think again roll it again in your mind so that you'll be able, you will observe to do what is written in it for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will deal listen to this then you will make your way prosperous amen hallelujah and then and you will deal wisely and have good success amen hallelujah you will deal wisely and have good success listen to the new living translation do not let the book of the Lord depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful. Amen. You may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He's not just talking about, amen. What's he saying? You'll be prosperous and successful in every facet and every area of life. Spirit, soul, and body. Amen. All the spirit needs, all the needs of your soul, and all the needs of your body. Amen. The Bible tells us God has given us all things that pertains to life and godliness, and it added, there's a clause to it through the knowledge of God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is praise God. 
Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Amen. Praise God. Listen to the New Living Translation or the message. Amen. And don't for a minute let the book of this of, of the revelation be out of your mind. Amen. Hallelujah. I love this. This is so good. Amen. And don't for a minute let the word let the book. Amen. Don't and don't for a minute let this book of the revelation, capital T H, in capital R T H, capital R, the revelation be out of your mind. Amen. Hallelujah. Ponder, that's to meditate. Roll it again. Ponder, amen. Think it over. Amen. Ponder and meditate on it day and night. Amen. Hallelujah. So it is not enough for you to know that it is the Lord. I am the Lord that he led thee. Ponder on it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ponder on it day and night. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ponder on, amen. Psalm 103, verse 3. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Ponder on it day and night. When you lay down on your bed, amen, ponder on Psalm 103, verse 3. Amen. Who forgiveth all my iniquities? Who heals all my diseases? So that means all my sin, amen, glory be to God. Amen. I am iniquity free. I am sickness free. Amen. I'm redeemed. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm redeemed from, from an early grave. The number of my days he will fulfill. Glory be to God. He will satisfy me with long life. Glory be to God. In old days I shall be full of sap and vitality and still be productive. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Amen. Hallelujah. Do, don't for a minute let this book of the, of the revelation be out of your mind. We are discussing our attitude towards the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our healing, amen. Our staying well is more than just going to a prayer line. Amen. And hands are laid on you. Amen. After that, amen. Hallelujah. God expects you us, amen. Hallelujah. To meditate on the word. Amen. Hallelujah. To ponder it. Glory be to God. And meditate on it day and night, making sure. You practice, you see, amen, making sure you practice what is written in it. Amen, hallelujah. And this is one of the reasons why many of God's people, amen, hallelujah, they lose their healing. Amen, hallelujah, glory be to God. They don't take time, amen, to make sure they don't practice everything written in it. The Bible says, then you will get where you are going. Oh, Lord, hallelujah, this is good. Amen. I read it from ponder ponder and meditate on it day and night making sure you practice everything written in it amen then you will get where you are going then you will succeed then you will get to where you're going amen hallelujah your destination or your destination is healing amen and divine health and staying well amen hallelujah the rest of your days the number of your days amen hallelujah Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He will fulfill. A man's life shall be 120 years old. He will fulfill. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Many of us have had this deception, have been taught wrongly, and so we get wrong results. And so people immediately, they, they amen, glory be to God, they get to 70, they begin to fold up. That's the beginning of life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to this. Amen. Hey. Ooh, glory be to God. This is so good. Amen. This, this is, I love this translation. And don't for a minute let this book of the revelation be out of your mind. Amen. Hallelujah. If we, instead of thinking about what is in, amen, what is on television, put your mind on the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't get carried away by what is on television. Amen. They will not help in the day of trouble. Amen. Instead, God is advising us. Amen. And don't forget, don't for a minute let this book of the of the revelation, amen, be out of your mind. Ponder, ponder, meditate, ponder, think it over. Amen. Meditate on it day and night, making sure you practice everything written in it. I like this conclusion of this verse then you will get where you are going then you will succeed 
Amen. Hallelujah. In this instance, where you are going is to be healed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. The success of your faith right now is that you get healed. Amen. Hallelujah. A position, attitude, a position assumed for a specific purpose. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. The, I read the message, the New Living Translation. Study this book of the Lord continually. Study. Amen. New Testament, Timothy. Study to show thyself approved unto God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. A workman. A workman. Amen. Rightly dividing the word of God. Rightly dividing the word of God is a lot of work. Hallelujah. We need the Holy Ghost. That's why the Holy Ghost came. God, the Father, sent the Spirit through the Son. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Son told us when He is come, when the Holy Ghost comes, He's going to teach us. He's going to guide us. That's the, He's our counselor. He will guide us into all truth. Why? So that the devil will not take advantage of God's people. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Study this book of the law continually meditate on it day and night so you may be sure to obey all that is written in it only then will you succeed praise god hallelujah amen so it won't, that goes to prove the point that many of god's people don't receive god's result as far as healing is concerned because of our attitude amen a lot of us Amen. Are careless when it comes to the word of God. Amen. Did you find out if you don't rightly divide the word of God, you will you would not, amen. You will not pray right. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and if you don't pray right, there will be no results. So that tells us that the multitude of prayers that a lot of us have been praying, amen, is outside the scope of the word of God. Because the Bible says, when we pray, we receive. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Only then will you succeed. Praise God. Let's continue. Amen. Ooh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Let's go to the book of, let's go to some, listen to us, listen, listen. Amen. We are talking about our attitude, our attitude and response to the word of God. Amen. It makes no sense. Listen, uh, listen to this. It makes no sense. Amen. For us, if we are not expecting God to answer our prayers or expect results from God, it makes no sense doing all of this. Amen. But if He has told us how, if He has told us how we can receive His blessings, if we have, if He has told us the way to go to be blessed, Amen. Hallelujah. And we don't do it, then the responsibility is on us. Amen. Praise God. Listen to this. Someone, I read. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the, in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Blessed is the man that does not, amen, walk, amen, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah, amen. Does not align his life, amen, in what the ungodly teaches. Praise God. Or what an, uh, the ungodly says, about an issue. Amen. Listen to this. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Listen to this. Blessed, happy, fortunate, prosperous. Amen. Enviable is the man who walks and lives, not walks, who walks and lives not in the counsel of the ungodly. Amen. Following their advice. Amen. Hallelujah. Following their advice, their plans, and their purposes. Amen. A lot of people in the world are so misled. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They are so misled. Amen. By people who think they know and they go into error. Amen. Listen to this. 
Blessed, happy, fortunate, prosperous, and enviable is a man who walks and lives not in the counsel of the ungodly of ungodly people. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. On the philosophy, on the, on the philosophy of ungodly people. Amen. Following their, their advice and their plans and their purposes. Many people have been destroyed because they listened to the advice of amen. Praise God. Because they listen to the advice of ungodly people. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Look at the look at your television. Look at what comes out of your television. How will you align that to give you your healing? Listen to this. Amen. Very important. Look at your newspapers. Listen to this. Many people, including Christians, spend their time reading, amen, hallelujah, Time magazine, amen, news, amen, newspapers that they spend reading and studying their Bibles. More people, amen, spend more of their time listening to the news, the, the so-called news headlines and all of those stuff, more than they spend time reading their Bibles. Did you find out, amen, that what you just heard in the news this morning or last week or yesterday is gone forever? But the Bible tells me that the word of God abides forever. Therefore, David is teaching us, amen, our, a right attitude, amen, to receive from God. Blessed, happy, fortunate, prosperous, enviable. Is the man who walks not who walks and lives not in the counsel of the ungodly, amen. Following their advice, their plans, and their purposes, nor stand submissive and, and inactive in the paths where sinners walk, nor sit down to relax and rest where the scornful and the mockers are gathered, amen. Hallelujah, amen. The Bible says, Blessed is the man who doesn't do that. Let, let's quickly, I'll come back to it. Let me do it in the New Living Translation. All the joy of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or stand around with sinners or join in their, in their scoffers. The, the, the ungodly, amen, the ungodly will never tell you that Matthew 8, 17 works. Himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Matthew 8, sorry, amen. You will never hear that in your news broadcast. Amen. Hallelujah. Here is the news. Special news announcement. Matthew 8, 17. He sent his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to, to God. He himself took our infirmities and he bore all our sicknesses. Glory be to God. Jesus bore. You will not hear that in the news. Amen. This is what the trend is in the world. Here is a new vein of coronavirus that is about to kill the world. Amen. Hallelujah. A new vein of sickness. A new this. If you don't do this, listen to this. The Bible said he himself took our infirmities. He bore our sicknesses. Galatians 1, 4. I love it. Amen. Hallelujah. That Christ, amen, Jesus died to redeem us from this present evil world. I'm redeemed from this present evil world. All these sicknesses, all the calamities, all this, whatever is in the world. Christ has redeemed us. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm redeemed from this present evil war. Galatians 1 4. Check it out. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, Amen. Hallelujah. The new living, the message. How well God must listen to the message. I love this. How well God must like you. Amen. You don't hang out at, at Sin Saloon. Amen. You don't sling uh, uh, along dead ends, dead end roads. You don't go to smart mouth college. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to verse 2. But your, his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in the law of the Lord does he meditate day and night. Listen to the message. I'm going to give it to you. Instead, amen, you thrill. Amen. Instead, you thrill to God's word. Amen. You chew on scriptures day and night. You chew on scriptures day and night. Glory be to God. Amen. You chew on scriptures. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You chew on healing scriptures day and night. Amen. Hallelujah. Day and night. 
you go to Matthew 8, 17, Isaiah 53, Psalm 103, amen, hallelujah, um, um, Joshua 1, 8, Exodus chapter 15, 26, amen, glory to God, and so on and so forth, amen, hallelujah. First Peter 2, 24, you chew on these scriptures, amen, hallelujah. You chew, amen, hallelujah. You chew on these scriptures day and night, amen, hallelujah. Amen. Do you listen to this? Amen. Hallelujah. But they delight in doing everything the Lord wants, the wants day and night. They think about his law. Amen. Hallelujah. Day and night. Amen. You think about the word of God as far as your healing is concerned. Amen. You're in the bathroom. You're saying to yourself, he sent his word and he healed me. He delivered me from all destruction. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When my enemies, even my foes, rose up against me to consume my flesh, they all stumbled and fell. And you begin to talk things, amen. Sickness stumbled and fell. Cancer stumbles and fell. Amen, hallelujah. Amen. Stroke stumbles and fell. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Dimensia stumbles and fell. Glory be to God. When my enemies rose up against me to consume my flesh, they all stumbled and fell. Meditating on the word. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to verse, verse 3. And he shall be like a tree planted by the by waters of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does, and whatsoever he doeth, glory be to God, everything, whatever he does, shall prosper. Listen to this. I read it, and then I move on. They are like trees planted along the river banks, bearing fruit each season without fail. Their leaves shall, ne shall never, I'm sorry, their leaves never wither, and in all they do, they prosper. In all they do. Attitude. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our attitude, and I repeat, what we are teaching on using Psalm 119 is our attitude and response to the word of God determines our result. Amen. Hallelujah. And we have taken time to let you know that the word attitude means, amen, hallelujah, a position assumed for a specific purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. You must position yourself in the word of God. Amen. Not only to receive your healing, but to stay well. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You cannot, listen to this, you cannot spend your time, amen, reading about all the diseases that are killing people. Spend all your time, amen, on television, on who, what disease killed grandma and what disease grandpa is suffering for. No, 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 no. You can't do that. No, you can't do that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is positioning yourself for the wrong result. Listen to this. Amen. Hallelujah. They are like trees planted along the, the river banks, bearing fruit each day, each season, without fail. Their leaves neither wither. Amen. And in all they do, in all they do, in all they do, glory be to God, they prosper. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is where we have been, amen. The church has been so wrongly taught. Amen. You think, no, no. The Bible says, amen, you can be a hearer and not a doer. And of course, we have found out, and James tells us, be ye hearers of the, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. What is God is telling us? Just because you heard the word does not justify you Amen. For your miracle, for your healing, you must be a doer of the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to this. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I read, you are a tree replanted in Eden. You are a tree. You are a tree. I like this. This is from the message. You are a tree replanted in Eden. Eden, bearing fresh fruit every month. Never dropping a leaf, always blossoming. How did he get there? Verse 2 tells us, amen, hallelujah. Instead, amen, you thrill to God's word. 
You turn to God's word. You chew on scriptures day and night. You chew on scriptures day and night. You are a tree replanted in Eden where the word of God came. Amen. Hallelujah. You are a tree replanted in Eden, bearing fruit, bearing fresh fruit every month, never dropping a leaf, always in blossom. Amen. And it goes on to say, verse 5, Therefore the ungodly, the ungodly shall not stand in the day in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Amen. <laughs> I love this from the message. You are a tree as you meditate on scripture. As you meditate on scripture, glory be to God. David said, listen to this. We are still expanding on what David said. Amen. Hallelujah. I will meditate in thy precepts. I will meditate in thy precepts. Praise God. Hallelujah. I will meditate in thy, in thy precepts. Amen. Keeping the word in the heart. I will meditate in thy precepts. Amen. When you meditate in the in the word of God, you are you you are like a tree replanted in Eden, bearing fresh fruits every month. Your youth is renewed every month. Amen. <laughs> you are daily renewed, as you say. Amen. Hallelujah. Your youth is daily renewed. Why? You're meditating on the word of God. You're chewing it again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Hallelujah. You are thrilled with the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. This is your attitude. What are you doing? This is your position. Amen. This is your assumed position for your specific purpose. Amen. You're chewing on healing scriptures. Amen. Hallelujah. What for? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. To stay well. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Then you, as you continue to do that, David said, according to the message, you are a tree replanted in Eden. You are a tree replanted in Eden, bearing fresh fruits every month. Fresh fruit, never dropping a leaf, always, blow, always in blossom. Always in blossom, glory be to God. Always producing healing fruits. Amen. Always heal, uh, producing, amen, hallelujah. Life fruits. Psalm, one, Psalm 92 says, in old age, they shall be full. Listen to David's attitude. In old age, I shall be full of life. Amen. Why? He's meditating on the word daily, day and night. He's chewing on the word of God. And he came to that specific position, that position, he, amen, hallelujah, where it, it dawned on him, in old age, I shall be full of vitality, full of life. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. I shall be full, no I shall be full of life and still be producing spiritual children. And at the end of Psalm 20, 92, he says, to prove, I love that verse of scripture. Amen. Check it out. Psalm, 40, Psalm 92, to prove that the Lord is righteous and there is no unrighteousness. There is no unrighteousness in him. What he says he will do, he will do. And he is showing us Telling us, amen, hallelujah, how the word of God will work for us, amen, so that we will always be producing fruit. Amen, hallelujah. Colos Paul prayed for the Colossian church, amen. What did he say? That they be filled with the knowledge of his will, in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that they might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, doing what? Being fruitful in every good work. Fruitful in every good work. Healing is good work. Amen. Hallelujah. Staying well is good work. Prosperity is good work. Hallelujah. Having good home, marriages, and all that is all good works. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So just as much as good as soul winning and lay hand upon the sick. Be fruitful in every good work. And it goes on to say, and increasing in the knowledge of God. Increasing in the knowledge of God. Amen. Every time you chew on scripture, you are increasing the knowledge of God. You are strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering, with joyfulness. Amen. Glory be to God. This is so good. This is so good. <laughs> Our time is gone, but it's good. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll continue. 
Amen. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Let's go to the, the book of Deuteronomy 29. Listen to Deuteronomy 29. Deuteronomy, 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 Deuteronomy 29.9. Listen to this. Guys, amen. And I'm just, it just came into my mind. I got to say this. You want to see godly results? Amen. You want to see, see godly results? Get in the book. Amen. You want to see Bible results? Get in the scripture. Get in the word of God. Amen. Follow the principles. Praise God. Hallelujah. You want to see God. God listen to this. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God wants to manifest and move in everybody's life more than you, you are expecting him to do. He's ready, ready, ready to bless. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Like the young boys that sang that song. Amen. Miracle not tired Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I say amen. Yes. Amen. God, God, Jesus, amen, is more ready to perform. God is more ready to heal than you are ready to receive. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to verse 9. Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 9. Keep therefore the words of this covenant. Amen. And do them that you may prosper in all that you do. Oh, thank you, Jesus. No wonder David said, thy word <laughs> is sweeter than honey in my mouth. Sweeter than honey in the honeycomb. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Amen. Keep therefore the, the words of this commandment and do them. It's one thing to keep it. It's another thing to do it. Just exactly like James, the book of James says. Just like exactly like Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7. Whosoever hears these sayings of mine and do it then shall be likened to a wise man who built his house upon the rock. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of you are building your lives. Amen. Hallelujah. On the prayers. Amen. Of your pastor. Amen. You are building your lives on prophetic utterances instead of the word of God. Uh, I tell you and let you know, amen, and this is not prophecy, amen, majority of those prophetic utterance that were written, that were spoken to you, amen, will never happen, amen, this is what will happen, keep therefore the word of this covenant and do them, amen, that you may prosper in all that you do, <laughs> amen. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. This is so good. This is so good. Ah, this is so, 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 so good. This is so, so, so good. This is so good. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. I repeat. Listen to it. Keep therefore the words of this covenant and do them. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't need anything more than that. Amen. Praise God. Keep therefore the words of this text of this covenant and do them that you may prosper in all that you do. The New Living Translation says, or the Amplified, keep therefore the words of this covenant and do them that you may deal, listen to this, that you may deal wisely and prosper in all that you do. It is unwise for you not to open the word of God and read it and find out what God is saying. Amen. It is unwise for you not to open the word of God and read it. Instead of reading, you know, what one philosopher said. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Listen to this. Oh, hallelujah. Listen to the New Living Translation. Therefore, obey the terms of this, of this covenant so that you will prosper in everything that you do. Amen. So that you will prosper. Amen. Hallelujah. So that you will prosper. So that you will prosper in everything
that you do. Amen. Listen to what God said. I read. Praise God. This is good. I said, if thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and amen, in his sight, and will keep and will give ear to his commandments, his commandment, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases which I have put upon the which I brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord, I am the Lord, I am the Lord that he led thee. Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, Deuteronomy 9, 29, 9. Therefore, obey the terms of this com of this covenant so that you will prosper in everything that you do. Keep my word. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm your healer. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. The Bible says in Isaiah 53. Amen. Hallelujah. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his wounds, by his wounds, by his wounds, we are healed. And we saw the Son of God, amen, hallelujah, amen, being, being trashed, amen, being beaten, amen, being, being bruised in the temple before his crucifixion. Every of those stripes that fell upon his back, was our healing. And the Bible says, if you believe that, that he took your healing, amen, that he took your diseases, he took your sin, amen. Second Corinthians 5, 21 says, amen, God made him to be seen who knew no sin. God made him to be sick with our sicknesses. Who knew no sickness, no disease? Amen, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. That we might be made. He took my sin that I might be made righteous. He took my sicknesses that I might be made well. He took my diseases. Amen. Hallelujah. That I might stay well. When we meditate on that, amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, obey the, the terms of this covenant so that you may prosper in everything that you do. The word of faith, Paul says, the word of faith which we preach is nigh thee in thy mouth. Amen. Hallelujah. If you speak it, if you believe it in your heart, speak it, you have the result. Attitude. Amen. Our attitude towards the word of God determines our result. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's no mystery to that. It is as simple as ABC. Our attitude to the word of God determines our result. And that's what Psalm 119, David smacked it right there in the midst of the, of the Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. So that we, our response will always bring our result. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. 2929 message. Diligently keep the word of this covenant diligently keep the word of this common covenant do what they say so that you will live well you will live well and wisely in every detail oh god hallelujah glory be to god i read that again diligently keep the words of this covenant amen do what they say so that you will live well and wisely in every detail praise god hallelujah amen Praise God, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Mm. Praise God, hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 6. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. Romans chapter 10, verse 8 and 9. 10, the, with the word of faith which is preached is in thy heart. The, even in Deuteronomy, in the Old Testament, I'm bring, going forth back and forth in the Old and the New. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to this. So that you will know the principles of, amen, of blessing in the word of God. Amen. In the Old Testament, still the same principle in the New Testament. Listen to this. And this word which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. Paul said in Romans chapter 10, Amen. The word of faith which we preach is nigh thee 
even in thy mouth and in thy heart. So Paul tells us in the New Testament, hallelujah, how to get results with God. Amen. How to get results. Our attitude, amen, towards the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The word of God being in our mouth. The word of God being in our hearts. Why? Praise God. Our attitude towards the word of God determines our result, our response. Amen. Praise God. Listen to this. <laughs> and these, listen to this. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently. You will speak of them. Thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. And shall talk on, listen to this, and shall talk of them when thou sittest down in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, amen, and when thou lies down, and when thou sittest, amen, hallelujah, when thou risest up, I read, glory be to God, amen, hallelujah, and thou shalt bind them for a, a sign upon thy head. Upon thy hand, and they shall be as frontlets before thee, before thy eye, eyes. Listen to this, verse nine. And thou shalt write them on the post of thy heart, of thy house, and on thy gates. Talking about our hearts in the New Testament. Praise God, Hallelujah. Amen, Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God, Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And let's go to the New Testament now. Let's go to the New Testament. Let's go to the New Testament. Matthew chapter 7. Look at Matthew chapter 7. Listen to Matthew chapter 7. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Our time has run out. But let's go to Matthew chapter 7. And then we'll do our communion. We'll do our communion. Make the confession of the word of God. Verse 20. Verse 21. Listen to verse 21. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Verse 21, I read, Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Amen. Doing the word. So you know, just because you are religious, amen, does not determine that you will get the result, amen, of the word of God. Listen to what the, the, amplifier, the message says. Amen. Hallelujah. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the, ki the kingdom of heaven, but only those, listen to, only he who does the will of my father, the will, will of my father, which is in heaven. Verse 24 says, therefore, whosoever hears these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man who built his house upon the rock. Amen. Hallelujah. And the rains descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon the rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. And the rains descended, amen, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon the house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Amen. Hallelujah. Same, same problem. Amen. Same problem comes to every human being. Why is it that some get the victory and some don't? Jesus is telling us it is in keeping and in doing. Hallelujah. In keeping and in doing of the word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And this is where we are going to enter. I delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Amen. I have kept thy testimonies. Amen. I have kept thy testimonies. Amen. Hallelujah. No wonder David, amen, at the end, amen, the end of the testimony of his life was this. Amen. And David, amen, was full of, of, of days. Amen. And David died full of days. Oh, glory be to God. Riches and honor. Amen. Hallelujah. No king in the whole of Israel, in the whole of Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. Till tomorrow. No king. Amen. Has been dishonored. And the Bible said, and David died 
full of own riches, full of days, full of days, full of days, riches and honor. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. Why? His attitude towards the word of God. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word have I meditated on that I might not sin against thee. Where shall a young man cleanse his ways? By taking heed to thy word. I have loved thy word more than my necessary meat. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. So we are going to continue where we stopped. We are going to continue where we stopped. Glory be to God. We have more to talk on Psalm 91. Uh, sorry, 119. And as the Lord gives us revelation. Guys, the purpose of this teaching of this series is that you might develop the proper attitude to the word of God and be receiving so that you can be in, in, have in your possession, we can have in our possession all that God says in his word. It is his will. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. If we position ourselves, amen, align ourselves, amen, to the truth, to the word of and the principles of the word of God, Amen. We'll bless, amen. Like Ephesians 1 says, he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So all those blessings that are loaded in the heavenly places, as we line ourselves in the word of God, they will come from the heavenly places and come to be manifested in us. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible says we beheld his glory. Amen. The glory as the only begotten son of God, full of grace. Amen. Hallelujah, full of grace and truth. Jesus came here loaded with heaven. Amen. And when Jesus left here, he left this world for his, those who believe in him loaded with heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So let's do our confession and then we'll do our communion. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is so good. I have enjoyed myself today. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, let's make this confession. Amen. Let's make this confession to those of you listening all over the world. Amen. We make this confession. Make it your own. Begin to learn how to have the right attitude. Position yourself for a specific purpose. That's the reason for these confessions. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead. Amen. Say with me. I confess Jesus is the Lord of my life spirit soul and body i receive the power of god to make me sound whole delivered saved and healed now i act on the word of god and i receive the power of god sickness disease and pain i resist you in jesus name you are not the will of god for me come on let's go amen i enforce the word of god on you right now Amen. And I will, sorry, I will not tolerate you in my life. Leave my presence in Jesus' name. I will never allow you back. Come on, let's do that. Amen. All over the world. My days of sickness and disease are over. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I am saved. I am healed. And the power of sickness has been forever broken over my life. Jesus brought my sickness weakness and pain i am free praise god hallelujah thank you jesus lord i have faith in you today my faith is in you jesus i thank you lord for the healing anointing that is hitting, hitting the atmosphere now jesus you are the healer you bore my sicknesses and my diseases and by your stripes i am healed amen i thank you for your mercy and your outpouring of healing today. Now, in the name of Jesus, I break the power of sickness, disease, malfunctions, abnormalities over me. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. Amen. I command backs to be healed. I command parts to come back. I command eyes, ears, bones, backs be healed, blood be healed. I rebuke cancer. 
diabetes, epilepsy, and heart conditions, and all diseases to leave my body in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come on. Be bold. Be bold. Be bold. Amen. Hallelujah. I declare that according to Matthew 8, 17, 2 Peter 2, 24, Psalm 103, verse 3, I am disease and sickness and pain-free. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I want somebody to repeat this again. Amen. I declare that according to Matthew 8, 17, 2 Peter 2, 24, Psalm 103, verse 3, I am diseased, sickness, and pain-free. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Somebody just got healed. Mm, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Now we're going to do our communion. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is so good. Amen. The sequence. Let's do our communion right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is good. Amen. The Bible says, in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. That's why I encourage us. Amen. Hallelujah. All over the world, practice the doing of communion every day. Because every time you practice communion, you are doing exactly what Jesus did. Amen. Hallelujah. What Jesus did for us over 2,000 years ago. Amen. In dealing with our sin problem and dealing with the sickness and disease and the death problem. Amen. That has faith. Face humanity. And the Bible says, in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. Amen. And he said, this is my body which is broken for you. Amen. For as often as you eat this bread, oh, glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. As often as you eat this bread, you do it in remembrance of me. What is he saying? Every time you partake of communion, you are partaking of everything that I did for you. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I have trained myself to do communion twice a day. Every day. Amen. And I see the benefits. I stay well. My body functions in the perfection in which you redeemed it to function. And I'm bringing this same message to you. And I want you to say with me right now. Say with me. Thank you, Father, for the gift of your son. And by the stripes that fell upon his back, my body is healed from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Hallelujah. Every cell, every organ, every function of uh, every function of my body is healed, restored and renewed in Jesus' name. I receive it. I believe it. That's my attitude. I receive it. That's my response. And I thank you, it is mine, in Jesus' name. Now you break the bread, and then you can partake. Hallelujah. Amen. And believe God for healing. Believe God to do the impossible. Amen. Hallelujah. When you see the invincible, God will do the impossible. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. That means you can walk, you can just eat, partake of communion, and in Jesus' name, rise up from that wheelchair. Amen. In Jesus' name, Hallelujah. As you partake of communion, glory be to God, your blind eyes will be open. And even if you have been put in the ICU and given up, hallelujah, as you partake of communion, life will come back to you. He did it for us. Amen. Now you can partake. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And the Bible says, in the same manner, he took the cup. When he had given thanks, he said, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. For as often as you drink this cup, you do it in remembrance of me. So let's partake of the cup. And the, the cup is for the cleansing, the forgiveness. Amen. Hebrew, sorry, not Hebrew. Now, Ephesians 1, 7 says, in him we have redemption through his blood, which is Ephesians and Colossians. Amen. Say so. 
In him we have redemption through his blood, which is, which is what? The forgiveness of our sins. I remember when I was learning, getting into this thing, communion, and I was about to serve communion, getting it ready, and the Lord told me, say to the people, the bread is for your healing, and the cup is for the cleansing of sin, forgiveness, the, the forgiveness of our sins. Amen, hallelujah. It was a revelation, and I've been doing it. And that's why I'm bringing it to you. Every time you partake of the bread, glory be to God. Thank God. Amen. God is not just healing you now. He healed us over 2,000 years ago. And everything that happened, every time I partake of communion, I'm doing again what happened over 2,000 years ago. In fact, in eternity past, because Peter calls Jesus the Lamb of God that was slain before the foundation of the world. Amen. Hallelujah. So when John said, Behold the Lamb of God, and that takes away the sins of the world. You know, John was only repeating what had happened in eternity. Amen. Say with me. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, thank you for your precious blood. Your sin-free, disease-free, poverty-free life is in your blood. And your shed blood has removed every sin. Your shed blood has removed every sin from my life. Amen. Through your blood, I am forgiven all my sins past, present, and future. And I'm made completely righteous. Hallelujah. I am made completely righteous. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, come on, I celebrate and partake of all the, in, of all the inheritance of righteousness, which is preservation, healing, wholeness, and provision. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now you can partake. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let's thank him. Amen. Let's thank him. Thank you for healing you. Thank you for forgiving forgiveness of sins. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, glory be to God. I'm just rejoicing with somebody. Somebody just got healed. Somebody just got healed. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for opening these deaf ears. Somebody's deaf ears just got opened. <laughs> thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, blessed be your name. God is healing your body. God is healing. Just because you, amen, you partake, you partook of communion. God is healing. God is healing. God is healing you. Go, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh, glory be to God. God is, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. In your stomach area, it could be in your lung. This could be in your, in your small intestines. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, it could be in your breathing. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, glory be to God. And you that has been having that, you know, that um, runny stomach, you eat and you cannot retain it. God is healing you right now. I rebuke that infirmity to leave your body. In the name of Jesus, you eat and you throw up. I rebuke it in the name. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You spirit of infirmity, I curse you in Jesus' name. Lose him and lose her and let them go in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Just begin to receive your healing, amen, hallelujah. Glory be to God, back pains, kidney problems. Come on, come on, come on, it's all available. Come on, I mean, you made the confession, you, you, partook, of, you partook of communion, amen. Hallelujah. You partook of the broken body of Jesus. Come on. Claim, tell, thank him for your healing. Amen. Hallelujah. Headaches, sleeplessness. 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, glory be to God, 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 hallelujah, glory be to God, arthritis in the name of Jesus, be healed, thank you Lord Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, oh yes, thank you Lord, oh hallelujah, <laughs> glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. 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 <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, guys, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can do that right now. You can say with me, Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you. Just as I am a sinner without one plea, I'm coming to you right now. And I'm saying, Lord, I declare that I believe with my heart that you raised up Jesus Christ from the dead to make me acceptable by you, to justify me. And I'm making that confession with my mouth that Jesus, you are my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today. Coming to stay in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. If you pray that prayer, I believe yours. You're born again. And I pray that the Lord, amen. Hallelujah. We hook you up to a church anywhere you are in around the world. But if you are in the Bronx area, amen. You are in New Rochelle. You are in, in Yonkers. Amen. Hallelujah. You live in any of the five boroughs. You live in Mount Vernon. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. We are preparing to start our indoor services. Amen. Glory be to God. That's the good news. And we are going to announce this date. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Very soon, get yourselves ready. We'll fix everything and begin to open the line so that you can call in. We'll write your name. We know who you are. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. We know that the space is limited. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And one last thing, two like more things. Don't forget to join us this week in our weekly broadcast. Amen. Praise God. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, we're going to add Saturday now since it came out. Amen. Hallelujah. And also join us in our teachings. On Monday, the Jesus you should know. Amen. And we're teaching on the victorious Jesus. On Tuesday, glory be to God. Hallelujah. We are teaching on the God you should know. Amen. And we are teaching... Our topic for Tuesday is going to be the name of the Lord, a strong tower. Awesome. On Wednesday, we are teaching on the incorruptible seed of the word of God using the parables. And we're in the parable, we are teaching the parable of the mustard seed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our topic is do not despise the days of small beginnings. Amen. Hallelujah. On Thursdays, of course, we are, talk we are going to be discussing, amen, on the mighty Holy Spirit. And on Friday, on Fridays is our prayer day, amen. And then on, we'll soon open it. Once we start our indoor service, we'll open it to the public. Glory be to God. And then, hallelujah, this is good. Amen, hallelujah. On Sunday again, we'll continue with our teaching on healing. Amen. We'll continue to teach it unto God's people. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible said the word of God should be taught precept upon precept, line upon line. Amen. What was the purpose why Jesus was teaching? To deal with the unbelief. That is in the heart of the people. And you find that Jesus taught and he taught them saying. And if you look at preaching places where the word of God are taught properly, amen, there are stronger Christians, amen, in such places. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And glory be to God. Well, let's do our offering for today. This is the last thing we are going to do. Amen. We want to also thank God for every those of you that have been giving. You'll be helping us. Amen. It is because of you, amen, glory be to God, that we are able to do what we are doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God, amen, since the pandemic, we have done more teachings, we have done more preaching, amen, hallelujah. We are reaching more people, glory be to God. This is, and I want to thank God for the those of you that have been given. I appreciate all of you, amen, hallelujah. Let's continue to be faithful in our giving, praise God, amen. And of course, that's the website. You can go through the website, go to the donate page, praise God, hallelujah, amen. Or you can use the cash app, and our cash app account is the dollar sign, 
El Shaddai WHC 10,000 or capital letters, I mean, or go to PayPal, or you can mail your check, amen, to El Shaddai World Harvest Church, 4617 White Plains Road, Bronx, New York. Or if you live in the Bronx area and you can come to the office, amen, hallelujah. Like some have been doing, you can come to the office, give us a call, praise God, 718 23139. And you can come here, bring your offering. Praise God. We love you. Thank you for giving. And we also appreciate your prayers. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And we basically do this once every week. I mean, so that we can spend all our time teaching the word of God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Well, that's the end of our broadcast today. Thank God. Thank you for joining us. Continue to share this broadcast. Continue to uh, like and continue to subscribe. Glory be to God. So that more people, amen, many, many, many more people will listen to this teaching. And get blessed. Get healed. Get, amen, hallelujah. Amen. Know how to keep their healing. Know how to fight the good fight of faith. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much. Well, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you his peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. And join us tomorrow, 1030 in the morning, and join us in the live streaming, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Amen. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Amen.